The new year means uh, new things, and for one tri-state community, it will be a first in northern Kentucky. Williamstown is going smoke-free in certain places. For health workers, it's a great thing, but some business owners aren't happy. Here is Walter Smith Randolph. Dusty Murphy has owned the Iron Crow Tattoo Parlor for five years, but maybe not for long. Murphy says the new smoke-free ordinance in Williamstown may force him to close up shop. We are going to look around northern Kentucky as soon as Christmas is over. We're trying to enjoy that with our family uh, and just have a, a good holiday. But once that's over, we're going to start being proactive and look because this is unsustainable. Across Main Street at Hobbies and such, James Minifee is also not happy with the new law. Honestly, I just don't feel that it's necessary that they could worry about something else besides uh, smoking on the sidewalk. The Williamstown City Council passed the ordinance earlier this year. It bans smoking indoors where the public is permitted, as well as outside outdoor patios. The smoke-free ordinance is going to be very um, negative towards small business, uh, especially specific small businesses. Uh, I'm in a service-based industry. One of Dusty's biggest problems with this new ordinance is the 25-foot rule. It says that you can't smoke within 25 feet of any business entrance. This is 25 feet, so that means you can't smoke on the sidewalk, and you definitely can't smoke in the middle of the street, so you'd have to leave town to grab a quick smoke. You can call me crazy, but I would rather go to another shop that's not going to force someone to get in their car and leave in the middle of a session if I'm already paying for a service. City Councilman Kim Krupper says most businesses are already smoke free and this just promotes a healthier Williamstown. We wanted to, the, to make it clear that the city wanted to have, uh, you know, uh, a healthier community. We wanted to support a healthier community uh, for our businesses. In a statement, the district director for Northern Kentucky Health says, in part, we were asked to enforce the new ordinance in establishments that we inspect. We congratulate Williamstown City Council for taking this important step to improve the health of the community. But here on Main Street, there are no congratulations. Kentucky grows tobacco. Let's fate, let's, we'll just leave it at that. In Williamstown, Walter Smith Randolph, Local 12 News. The new ordinance goes into effect January 1st. The health department will be responsible for enforcing it and investigating complaints. Councilman Cropper also tells us if a business wants to allow smoking inside, they can ask the city for a permit.